Hello. Today, we're going to discuss writing with purpose. Purpose refers to the goal or aim of a piece of writing. Essentially, we're discussing writing with a goal or end result in mind. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify the author's purpose for writing a specific text and the author's intended audience. Consider these instructions. What is their purpose? That's correct. They describe how to assemble a toy. The purpose of descriptive writing is to describe a person, place, or thing. For example, the directions that, came, that come with a game have a purpose. They describe how to play the game. Descriptive writing involves paying close attention to details. Now I want you to consider this newspaper article. What is the goal or purpose of this type of writing? After leaving parts of Puerto Rico in ruins, Hurricane Maria was lashing the Dominican Republic on Thursday morning, where as much, of, where as, much as 20 inches of rain was in the forecast for high elevations. Maria will move into the Bahamas on Friday. But beyond the weekend, the storm's track becomes less certain. Maria regains strength as it pulled away from Puerto Rico on Wednesday night. By Thursday morning, its rain bands and winds were lashing the Dominican Republic as the eye passed just 50 miles north of the Hispaniola coast. So the goal of this writing is to inform people about what the hurricane is doing and what it's projected to do. It's an informative piece of writing. When the author's purpose is to inform, the reader learns something. Informational texts include facts. Most news articles are written to inform. A biography or a book is written about a person's life. It has the purpose of informing others about the person's life. What is the purpose of this ad? It's, they're trying to convince you to buy Starbucks coffee, right? The ad is trying to persuade you. It's pers this is persuasive, write persuasive writing. When the author's purpose for writing is to persuade, the author wants the reader to act or feel a certain way. The author is eager for or against, either for or against an issue. A persuasive text usually contains facts and the author's opinion. Advertisements and speeches by politicians are meant to persuade. When an author writes to narrate, the purpose is to tell a story. Narrative writing can be fiction or nonfiction. These are all examples of narrative writing. What do you think the purpose of this type of writing is? It's to, to make you laugh or entertain you, right? The purpose of this type of writing is to entertain. An author's purpose of a text that is written to entertain is to provide amusement to the reader or hold a reader's interest. A mystery novel, a fairy tale, and a comic strip are examples of writing that have the purpose of entertaining. Can a text have two purposes? Yes, absolutely. A piece of writing can have more than one purpose. For an example, an article about healthy eating could try to persuade you to eat healthier and inform you of the benefits of different types of food. We have one more thing to discuss before we try to apply this knowledge. We need to discuss the importance of audience as it relates to an author's purpose for writing. Authors write with a purpose in mind, and they write with an audience in mind. An author's audience is the group of readers they are addressing. the audience an author is addressing should be reflected in the text. What are some ways the author addresses the audience in a piece of writing? 
might be word choice, content, length, textual appearance. Who would be the intended audience of a text message? The recipient, right? Read this passage. Who do you think is most likely the intended audience for this passage? It is recommended that parents read to their children every day, starting as early as six months of age. When you read with your children, you are starting them off in life as a lifelong reader and learner. It is never too late to pick up a book and read. People in their 80s have learned how to read and discovered the pleasure of reading. Turn off the television and read a book. So who do you think that's most likely intended for? is parents of young children trying to convince them to start reading to them. Number one, what is a writing purpose? It is a goal or aim of a piece of writing. Number two, name five writing purposes. Describe, inform, persuade, narrate, and entertain. Number three, what are some ways an author reflects the audience in his or her writing? Be a word choice, content length, and textual appearance. Let's go through a couple practice questions. In her American literature class, Danny is asked to write a paper about her favorite American poet. The papers will be presented to the class to teach other students in the class about that poet. Which of these topics fits Danny's purpose? an audience. It's A. Walt Whitman, a blend of nature and poetry. Because it's about an American poet, Walt Whitman's American poet, and the poetry. Let's do this one. Dear Dr. Whitaker, my junior biology class read about your research on the importance of frogs to the ecosystem. We would very much like you to come talk to us about frogs and to answer the many questions we have on this interesting subject. Me and my classmates chipped in and we got 50 bucks we can pay you. I know that's cheap, but it's all we got. Do you think you could make it? Any time in October would be fine. If you're willing to do this, please respond to the address below and my teacher will arrange a date for your talk. We hope you can come. Sincerely, Philip Went. Which of the following statements describes why Philip wrote this letter? A. He wants the class to he wants to describe the class assignment to the biologist. B. He wants to inform the biologist about a new assignment. C. He wants to persuade the biologist to visit his class. Or D. He wants to teach the biologist about a class assignment. Let's see. He's trying to persuade the biologist to visit his class. Now let's do this one. The International House of Pancakes, or IHOP, is giving away free pancakes to those who come into their diners across the U.S. today. National Pancake Day started in 2006 through the restaurant chain. On the Tuesday before Lent, also known as Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras, the company gives away one free short stack of pancakes per customer. All IHOP asks for in return is a donation to support local children's hospitals and charities. The children's hospitals are all part of the children's miracle network. IHOP hoped to raise at least $1 million in 2009. To date, the company has raised over $2 million for charities. In 2006, over 1.5 million pancakes were given away and over $875,000 were raised. Pancake Day is centuries old. In England, people would rid their homes of dairy products to prepare for Lent. Pancakes were made on Fat Tuesday to use up the rest of the eggs, milk, butter, and other dairy products. Which audience would most likely be interested in this passage? A. People who follow Lent. B. People who like pancakes. C. Children living in England, or D. Children in a hospital. It's B. People who like pancakes, because they're giving away pancakes. 
Okay, let's read this one, talk about what the purpose of this text is. His face appeared in the window. She knew he had been the cause of her waking at 3 a.m. Was she seeing things? Was his face real? She tried to lie still and decide what to do. Just then, the window shattered. She flew across the room to the hallway and straight into her mother's room. It's kind of scary. Someone broke into her room. This is an entertainment piece. The purpose of this text is to entertain readers with a scary story. And now let's do this one. Why did the author write this text and for whom is it intended? Candidate profile. My name is Megan Butterfield and I'm in the sixth grade. I come from a family of six. My hobbies are reading, writing, and playing sports. I'm running for and would love to be, secre be secretary. Council leaders should be hard workers and willing to come to meetings. They should work for the good of all middle school students, not just themselves or their grade. Leaders should also be cooperative and fair. In order to be a secretary, you need to be nice, organized, and responsible. Secretaries should like to write. As I mentioned before, I would love to be the secretary, and I like to write. I'm self-motivated, kind, organized, and very responsible. I've been in charge of teaching my fifth grade Girl Scout troop how to ride, care for, and learn about horses. I had to take many notes and talk in front of not only my group, but also other Girl Scout troops many times. Several of my teachers have told me I have great leadership skills. I hope to improve our school and gain more leadership. I would love to share creative ideas and talent with middle school and its student council. We could plan more activities and include everyone and bring the... And that's it. It actually got cut off. But we can tell from what we have here that the author wrote this to persuade others to vote for her. And the intended audience is the middle school students who are voting. Okay, so that's it. And now you have a lesson that goes with the Study Island quiz for writing purposes. So I take that quiz and earn a blue ribbon. Good luck.